Welcome to God's Touch Ministries International, where God is raising a people of integrity, influence, and affluence. Come for an encounter with the power of God, deliverance from every oppression of the devil, and the glorious presence of God. Our services as follows. Sunday services, prayer force, 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Main service, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sunday school, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And midweek Holy Communion service from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. God's Touch Ministries, the powerhouse. Yes. Yes. Kitabu cha Isaya nane mstari wa kumina nane Itanzia hapo Kitabu cha Isaya kuanzia mstari wa kumina nane Itanzia hapo na Yesu Kristo ni mwana Na amini neemisha na atani neemisha Amen Mimi pamoja na watoto aliolipa mwenyezi mungu Ni ishara na alama katika Israeli Kwa jina la Yesu Kwa jina la mwenyezi mungu wa majeshi akae mlimani sayuni. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me are for signs and for wonders. In Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Mount Zion is the dwelling place of God the Most High. Mount Zion is the dwelling place. So Mount Zion is not the gathering. It's not the dwelling place To 
do something or make things happen in life. Can I also say this? The power is the strength, the force, the energy to do something or make things happen. Make things happen. Also say, power is dominion, might, dominion, might, and also the ability to be in charge, to be in control, and to have the final say. That is power. That is dunamis. To be in control. To be in charge, to have the final say, I shall not die but live to declare the mighty works of the living God. When you say so, you are not boasting. You are in charge. You are in dominion. You are in control. Praise the Lord. And when we are talking about God's power, we are talking of the kind or strength of mind that dwells in a believer. The God kind of power, the God kind of strength, the God kind of energy that dwells in a believer that influences a believer to do things in a certain way or energizes a believer to do things in a certain way. In the book of Acts chapter 14, 19 to 20. In the book of Acts chapter 14, 19 and 20. Please play, pay a close attention. I know you are going to church, you have been reading, but I pray to me, this is more of a revelation. It's more of a revelation. It's more prophetic. And I pray that your life will never remain the same again. Amen. You keep at and keep at the touch. Amen. 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 In the book of Acts, chapter 14, 19, and 20, reads Some of the Jews who had opposed Paul and Barnabas in Antioch and Iconium arrived and stirred up the crowd against them. They stole Paul and dragged his body outside the city and left him for dead. Get this please. Apostle Paul was stoned to death. And this man was left by the multitude that stoned him to die. But when he reads, when the believers encircled Paul's body, he miraculously stood up. This man was stoned to die and he was left dead or to die when the believers many a times believers will surround you encouraging you telling you this well you will make it a day and the same thing was happening to apostle paul apostle you shall not die oh apostle our pastor our bishop Look 
encouragement. He never went to the hospital. The man stood up. Might. Church, we need the might of God. Amen. We need the power of God. We need it. Today the church has become a gathering of weekly people. People who are full of murmuring. People who are full of complaining of how things are not happening in their lives. What is the power of God in us again as a church? What is the power of God in us? Today, I hear believers calling me and telling me, Pastor, I cannot come to church. Why? I was stunned by a bee. I was stunned by a bee. Apostle Paul, the same man of God, was beaten by a snake and he shook the beast. Which is which? 
And that's exactly what the devil does after the service. We are from church. We are from singing. We are from jumping. Hakuna sila. Hakuna. Hakuna. Iliotuma kuyima na mini takaka faulu. Wela ni wali okufa. Ama wali ohai. Chini ya maji. Ama injikafu. Itakaka faulu. Tutaima wote. But when we live here. The devil knows what to do. Threaten them. And you know. And you get to know. What they are made of. Why? Because we were singing under the own show. Under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. But power is personal. Power is personal. Stephen, the man so full of faith. And the Holy Spirit power. Not a wind. Power. Full of faith. Full of the Holy Ghost power. And spectacular miracles among Let me say this. There is no believer and there is nobody in business today in my country, Kenya, in God, in Nairobi, in Thailand, that is doing any business by this power. Yes. There is no one. No one. It's not about the anointing. It's about power. Yes. It's about power. Yes. And the church be told the truth. It does not mean that the kingdom of darkness has got no power. It has got a degree of power. But we need the ultimate power. We need it. We need it. I've been teaching about operating the supernatural. I have been teaching about the birth of the Holy Spirit. And I have found myself in the world of power. And we need to operate and to walk in the reality of power. Listen to me. You don't sell by display. You don't become what you want to become by display. Ladies have displayed themselves. Today, men are displaying themselves. Displaying their bodies. It won't work. It won't work. It is power. And it's high time we embrace power and be thirsty of it. Be desperate of it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Power, it is the very energy of God in a man's life. Mm. The very energy of God. What drives God driving you? Sometimes you have got Subarus. Unakuta, they have put some fuel that they always put in jets or aeroplanes. And when they want to scare you, they'll come closer to you. And there are some battles they press. Their cruise battle. Their sports battle. And you are there with the cars are Mila. And what you see was here. And you look at the speedometer called 80. Yamana Potea. What is it? It is what is powering you and what is powering them is different. And just because you're on the same road does not mean you're part of the same thing. We're the same road, we're a bicycle. We're in the same church, some of us here, we are just being like this. Praise Jesus. We have a chair too. 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 All of us in the spirit world. The question is this, what is powering you? Who is powering you? Because who powers you and what powers you determines the results. Determines the outcome. The outcome. As a believer, be tired. Be tired of guess what as a believer. Ask to pretend that he ate. Acts 
chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Please look at the scripture. It shows clearly. It's a clear demarcation between the anointing and power. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Anointing is God depositing his himself in a man's life. God depositing himself. How God deposited himself, the Holy Ghost, in Christ Jesus. And with power, he was anointed. At the same time, he was also empowered with power. Who went about doing good? You cannot do good if you are not empowered by God. Yeah. You want to do good. To live good is to do good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Amen? Meaning what? When you look at a person who is doing good, you will tell and you will know how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good? Who went about being good? You cannot be a doer of good as a believer if you are not empowered to do so. And I'll give you power to make that. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you power to prosper. Prosperity is not a product of grace. Well, it is not a product of grace, but power. Yes. Freedom, as a believer, your liberty, it is not The man was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. So there is anointing and there is power. Today I'm not talking about the anointing, but I'm talking about the power of God that will reside in you. And wherever you go, you command signs and wonders. Amen. Signs and wonders are products of power. You cannot command signs and wonders minus power. You can't. Things are made to happen with power. Things happen by reason of power. The Holy Spirit is a person. Power is a thing. The Holy Spirit is the source of power. Power is not a person but a spiritual thing. A spiritual thing. And when we talk about healing, when we talk of deliverance, when we talk about working of miracles, these are power gifts. They are called power gifts. They totally depend on power. When we talk of healing, when we talk of deliverance, when we talk of working of miracles, these are giftings that have to do with power. And that's why today the church is shy of talking of healing. We are shy of talking of deliverance. We are shy of talking of working on miracles. Because the church is void of power. Void of power. Today pastors are arguing. Our demons read.
who are confessing to be born again, but they are not, there is no power in them. That's why they are not a threat to the devil. They are not a threat. They are not a threat. Pastor, why do people manifest in GTA? It is because of the power level. Yes. It's because of the power level. Yes. Amen? Yes. It's not because of the preaching, it's because of the power level. Samson, the man of God, the Bible says what? And the Spirit of God came upon him. Samson. The Spirit of God came upon him. And he collected a jawbone of an ass. And with a jawbone of an ass, he killed a thousand Philistines. Might, power. This one man, how could he carry a gate of a city on his shoulders and went with it? Meanwhile, God entered into him and the strength of God came into him and Samson, body was being used by God himself. Yes. The whole gate of a city, he took it to the mountain. Like I took over. That was might. That was power. Praise the Lord. But the same, same Samson, he went as other times. Little did he know that the Spirit of God the power of God had left him. Had left him. And this man's eyes were removed. The man was shaped. But then God, the hair grew again. How he prayed for the church, that the church hair will grow again. Amen. Will grow again. Amen. And when the hair grew, he asked a lad who was around him, take me and help me all the pillars of this building. Power was restored again. He held the pillars of the building. And the whole building came down. Samson is not an individual. Samson is the church. Kanisa tume nyolewa. Tume molewa macho. To see all the church of the killer. That's why today we have got witches and wizards on our altars. They are preaching in the name of prophecies. They are prophetess in the name of diviners. They are there, they are dancing in the name of entertaining God. And the church is blind to the Holy Almighty to see all How blind are my people? How blind is the church? Today we are burying people every day. Why the devil have come inside the church? Because the church is void of power. Void of power. Void of power. It's high time the church goes back to the drawing board and we ask ourselves, where did we go wrong? Where did we lose it? Today, people are coming to the altar. Now, he is he. What you got to go up? What you got to go up? When you look, you know, when you read about the men of God that went ahead of us, just at a glance, looking at a person who is a witch and a wizard, they be paralyzed. by 
bila Musa Mungu. And we need it. We need the power of God. Every believer needs to be empowered to realize and to fulfill their God ordained destinies. Your mission on earth remains in question by his power. Your mission on earth. Your mission on earth. Some of us will look over there and there. I'm not going to go to the end. I'm not going to go to the end. But you need the power of God for it to overcome. You need the power of God to walk in dominion. Chat the small day. If we want, let's go and buy brooms. Come and sweep the entire land of God. We can never sweep all the witches out of this land. We can never. That's what the church is doing now. Today the church is sweeping roads. What are we doing? Since when do we come that low? They have lost it. They have lost it. You cannot be empowered and not know. A properly treated man from a witch know it. That this one, we have a child. We have a tenderness one. Since he be at the day, Baba Nifanye, Chancho. Nifanye, Mambo. Of power it work in your life, yes. not your profession. Yes. We are so much confessed. Who can get You already know. They already know that this man is that man, a believer with no power. Nothing to show. Who you declare at the Geneza? Who you declare to Alafanya? Praise Jesus. It's high time the church goes back to the reality and walk in the reality of power. How you should just get one person. Every believer, your destiny, your vision, your dream is in question without power. Even pastors, they are not exempted. Because people do know, yes, you are anointed. But it is power that will announce you to your world. It is power, not anointed. I found them of God saying, we have raised people from dead. We have raised people from the dead. And they are not known. It cannot be hearing this and run away. Every night there. Yes. It cannot be hearing this and run away. Every night there. We are running away because of no power. We are powerless. We just are doing things. That's why today, talk about these politicians. They are not going to churches, they are going to witches. Because their pastors are totally packed out of the school of power. Hallelujah. Hatuna Mungu Tenda. Today we are doing casting for hours with no power. The apostles were never given the casting manual. They were given power to cast out demons. Yes. We ought to go back. We ought to go back. Back to power. Matthew chapter 10, 1. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Jesus called his 12 disciples. And when they had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power. And mean what? He gave them dominion. He gave them final say over demons. He gave them power and genius and clean spirits to cast them out and to heal. When you are under that, those cables, Sinaguruma peke yao. Sinaguruma. Na chiyaki ya kuru hai. They are no plants. They advise themselves and they die. Church, you might be seated next to a witch and you are laughing. And you are giving a witch high five. It's because your voltage level is 20. Voltage! Kuna beti! There are three volts. 1.5, 0.5. There are some believers in church. 0.5. Stevie, a man full of faith and power. Full. Big a full tank. Yes. Ken, you're going to say that maybe the big indicator is empty. The big are empty. And in church, confessing Jesus Christ to be your Lord Savior. Powerful dimension. When you walk on yourself and the power 
decisions. There are some things which you are voice themselves out of your life. You don't need to pray. You don't need to pray. There's no madman, no matter how mad they are, who will jump into fire. No one. You don't need to tell a madman, don't jump into the fire. There's no bee, no matter how bee it is, and how busy it is, a bee that will go to the fire. They never went to any school, but they know this is fire. The same thing also, our power voltage or our power degree should be on the increase. Amen. Increase your power capacity. Increase your power capacity. Yesterday you were in 20, go to 30. From 30, go to 40. Power is not a cheap talk. Power is not a confession. Power has got a demanding cost. Disgusting. 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 Hallelujah. He gave the power to cast them out and to heal. Today, pastors, we are referring people to hospitals. And you are brought to this hospital up here. I can be a pastor, and they brought the man beaten by a snake here. And put a cat in my head, you understand me of Zulu. Better in the top 100. Better fully charged. This is how you go up with you. I think you're going to be my. I'm still a mama. I'm still a mama. I'm still a mama. I'm a mama. Baba. With the only sister. Milo. Then you can. If you can't pay me, you talk. Out! The man fell down. And a clear liquid came out of the mouth. Clear. Who are you? The spirit of death. I cast you out. And the demon left. And the man is alive till date to the glory of God. Amen. The mother is in Mary. I mean, the boy the road. Sing a kid here. I can give him here. And it shall take poison. And by no means shall it hurt them. They shall not die. And I pray, God Almighty, by your power, neutralize and change the poison in his body to become nutritious. And the boy is still alive till death. Church, we need power. Power is not about them all. The power that is driving the life of Pastor Joe is not what is driving me. Yeah. And I cannot drive with her power. Yeah. It's the same thing, Pastor Agnes. The fuel that is driving Pastor Mutis, I cannot drive you. With a copy of Kajiado, they are going to Nairobi. Like a fellow Kajiado, they are full tank. My husband, yes. My husband is going to full tank. He may show them a full tank. That's the way it is. You cannot drive your life with someone else's power. Yes. You need it to yourself. Mm -hmm. There's no bar that flies with another bird's wings. No. No matter how my wife loves me, she cannot eat for me. She cannot eat for me. She can't. Let me eat, and you shall be just be saying amen. Just be swallowing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, by the Kumaliza, we talk about Shiva Pia, you want to go for power. But as many, John chapter 1 verse 12, John chapter 1 verse 12, but as many, but as many received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. What validates your sonship as a believer is not your confession. What validates your sonship is the power of God at work. What validates your sonship as a believer is the power of God at work in your life. You can confess and go and tell demons I'm born again, I'm going to heaven, and that is the testimony we know. Now the church to me is why I can so fly. In the end I become. And we think that is what salvation is. Let me show you. Salvation is nothing but to be empowered. Yes. Until you are empowered, you're not born again. To be born again is to be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God. Meanwhile, you are transferred from darkness. 
You are transferred from failure. You are transferred from suffering. You are not born again to suffer again. You are born again to reign with him. It takes power to reign. It takes power to rule. Praise Jesus. I know they are fighting all over. Chopa kila mahali. It's all about power. Who will be the most powerful man? Come August year 2022. My friend, the bear, goes to cut in the pool like a bee. How do you know what you're Praise Jesus. Amen. Let's go for power. To as many who received Jesus Christ, He gave them power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe in His name, He gave them power. We got born again. We confess. Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior. Why is power? Why is power? Going on. Yeah. What is going on in my life? And I came to know anointing can be temporary. Yeah. Yes, in church. Yeah. The demons that we left, they are waiting for you some time. They are waiting for you. Come, you are waiting for it. They enter again. The same person who left the house. You came here, you enjoyed yourself, you are free, no disease, no pain. The moment you go out, it's an idea of No, no, it's Any time I'm in church, I'm more sick. Outside the church, I'm sick. Why? Because inside the church, you're enjoying the anointing. Yes. But you're going power. Mm-hmm. The power cables from Okali, I'm from, from wherever they're coming from, I'm from Ginger. How does Kipitia Mustumi? They don't need encouragement. They are carrying power. As in a room, half a fist in a duo. They know. For you, you are in church, you are encouragement, you are needed. Out of church. What is happening? You are needed, but with more power. Yes. Let me show you a man of God. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, Elijah. Elijah said, What? He might be a man of God. I could be a Mount Carmel. And this man knew. He never came down from Mount Carmel. How about a sugar? He might be a man of God, the command had to come down. Karabasha! Fire! Faith to Nungua was their captain. Then again, faith to was sent again with their captain. If I be a man of God, I command had to come down. I came down again. But this man of God, anointed, calling for fire in Ashoka, you meet with one Jezebel. If you are born up, you run away from the life. Elijah was anointed. Anointed. And when he received a message from one woman called Jezebel, the man resigned. He went under a juniper tree and he said, It is enough. I'm not better than my fathers. Let me die. He asked for death for himself. And God served him again with Holy Communion. Say, but take of this. And he went in the strength of that meal for 40 days. The same man who wanted to die never tasted death again. Because our God does not die. Yes. Power will never die. It will never die. Look at Elisha. Elisha was anointed. When they brought a dead man, what happened? The dead man came back to life. But Elisha remained there as bones. Nobody ever brought him back to life. Power is what brought just Christ back to life. Yes, sir. Power means in you. 
wherever you go. Desire this power. Desire. When you are anointed, even your children are affected by your power. The power to carry. You have been translated from the kingdom of darkness. Meaning what? No matter how powerful they are, no matter how blessed they are, I no longer belong to that kingdom. And they have got no authority. They have got no dominion over my life. You have been translated. You no longer belong to their domain. You are no longer be, you no longer belong to their to their powers. And you're no longer under their powers. You are above. You are above. Genesis 27, 27, 20 to 40. And the self said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. Oh, my father. And the son lifted up his voice and wept. Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Look at this blessing. And son was never cast. Please. He was also blessed. Behold, Mariam Bapo Takapoishi shall be the fatness of the earth. Top player. Yeah. Fatherland, good land, and of the dew of heaven from above. So, we know Utakuna Patamvua to the Biguni. Blessed. Verse 40 reads, And by thy soul shall thou live, and shall serve the Utatumiki and Ubiako. Utatumikia, we shall be a slave. As much as I blessed you with a fertile land, with a good ground, with a good business, with a good vision, a wonderful dream, I blessed you with it. Thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, when thou shalt have power, that thou shalt break his yoke from all. Everything. 
and the man became a prime minister in a foreign land. Power, power, power. Power will cause people to go for you and to come for you. Power. But today we are rejects as believers because we don't have it. Amen. 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 Luke chapter 11, 20 to 22. The man that bound your family was wrong. The man who captured your family, who rendered your family useless, somebody must arise and be more powerful yes. than that evil man. Yes. Must arise and be more powerful than that which is the family. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 11, 20 to 22. Yeah, if I'm casting out demons by God's mighty power, by God's mighty power. God's kingdom reign is now released upon you, but you still reject it. Verse 21 reads, Satan belongs are and be stopped. Listen, Satan belongs are and be stopped as he stands guard over his fortress kingdom. Strong and fully armed with an arsenal of many weapons. Shetani. Some of us become from families that Satan himself is the God. Unangelia familia nzima to nangamia. Umeambia ufunke, umefunga. Umeambia uombe, umeomba. Umeambia sadaka, umetoa. Sacrifice, umefanya. Let me be real and be real to you. Go for power. Go for power. Strong and fully armed with an arsenal of many weapons. Verse 22. But when, but when, Meanwhile, this is when, when, when one stronger than he comes to attack and overpower him, the stronger one will empty the arsenal. He will empty stronger. Meanwhile, he will be there. But you need to be stronger than him. And when you are stronger than him, you take over. You cannot take over in a ritual. You cannot take over in a street. You cannot. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. We must be stronger. Let them do their wickedness. If they're using the devil, why don't you use God? If they're using witchcraft, why don't you use Godcraft? They are in witchcraft. From today you are permitted. Do Godcraft. Amen. Hallelujah. Do Godcraft. To go and make him a worker. To go and Says what? 
their cup. Look at this. Stronger one, one will empty the arsenal in which he trusted. The conqueror will ransack his kingdom and distribute all the spoils of victory. Until he becomes stronger than the devil and his agents, we shall never have our goods. Until we become stronger, it's until we become conquerors. And we cannot become conquerors by talking. We need to be empowered. Our weapons of warfare, they are not coming, but mighty, powerful, through God. We need to be empowered again. What is the charge? That people fear to go. We just fear to go. We just fear to go. Today they are following us to church, singing the same songs. was invited to go and preach in a meeting and he went late. How to watch the fight of Obini? And it was not to Salimia one to two. People started screaming and falling down, people walking. By that saying, praise the Lord. Meanwhile, the same, same words, but carrying different powers level. You ought to go back there. Amen. Amen. Simuna tell me. Life is full of wickedness. It's chapter 49, 24 to 25. Life is full of wickedness. And only power will rescue our lives. Rescue our children. Power. It's chapter 49, 24 to 25. Not once have demons screamed here. They have tried to kill me. And they are saying, Where to make water? To make water. If demons can leave me and give up on me, why not on you? Why not you? Under the same grace. What cannot kill me is not permitted to kill you. Amen. It is not permitted. Amen. And I read those quotes from Dika for prayers. And the lady sat down. She was a revolutionary. Tonight I will kill you. And that's the day that what came to me. Who has said anything? And it comes to pass when the Lord himself have not commanded it. And God just asked, who is speaking here? Demons. Do demons have the final say over your life? I said, no. And I told the guy, I won't die. I won't die. You dare me, you go for me. I'm a devil of Shiva. I've got a rank. I don't care your rank. Be the queen, be the king, I don't care. Let's go for power. Let's go for power. Let's go for power. Praise the Lord. You cannot have power and not know. Acts chapter 19, 13 to 16. Look, okay. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Number one, look at this one. From the mighty. So the Bible acknowledges your enemies to be mighty. They are mighty. Or the captives of the righteous be delivered. Verse 25. But that is the law. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away by power. Amen. It will take power to deliver those who have been captured by the mighty. Yes. It will take power, not always. Don't be cheated that got a level of power. If I say I'm not experienced and tested my own pain in this life, for me to be fighting witches is because I've tested. Church, listen to me. There is no day the church will be void of wickedness. Witches and wizards, they are there. It's upon you now to be empowered. Go for power. Power will exempt you from wickedness. Power will exempt you. Only power, not anointing. Satan is the anointed cherub. Do you know that? Satan, he is the anointed cherub. Anointed. Empowered. Acts chapter 
19. Matthew 16. Acts chapter 19, Matthew 16. KJV. It's not a good thing. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, what distinguishes between a son and a vagabond? A son and a slave is power. And he gave them power to become sons. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preached. To Nakukenea, Katika China Yesu Christo. You will have Paulo and Aubiri. A fact was saying, Kanisa Rote Lilia Ba, Lilia Kaya Gina Yesu Christo, who is the father of the worshippers. Demons themselves, they know Jesus. And they call his name. What will put a clear demarcation is power. Amen. We are giant by Jesus who Paul preaches. Verse 14 reads, and there were seven sons of one skeva, a Jew and chief of the priest, which did so. Verse 15 reads, And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, sir. I know this man, Jesus. Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. But who are you? When demons are being delivered to the sons of Skeva now, who are you? Who is telling me who are you? When did that And what happened? Verse 16 says, Verse 15. 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. Demons, they know your capacity. Yes. They know your level. They know your degree. And they shall not break their ranks. All of us in the kingdom and in the spiritual kingdom, we have got our ranks. Musa, yes. Akona yes. Don't be cheated. We shall not be in the same, same place. Kuna ranks. Imagine me and Apostle Paul put together. Kuna makosa bahan. Zimuinui, Apostle Paul. This man labored. Some of us, some of us, one demon, we have never cast it out. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. But who are you? Verse 16 says, And the man in whom the evil spirit was, was lit on them and overcame them, and meanwhile it was power. And he knew these men are powerless. Overcame them and prevailed against them. So that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Naked. Naked and wounded. Uchapu uchapu. By one man that was demon possessed. One man. Simula to say it. Amen. And we have got three categories. Look at the book of Luke chapter 4. Verse 1 and 2. Then 14. Let's learn a poem. Moon, change my level. Some of us, in the level of where to go, we are massaging demons. When a demon has came, we are going to go. Pastor, we are going to go to the house. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release him. I don't want to go. Pastor, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Um, the church is almost being, uh, being called uh, a massage parlor. Massage parlor. I was going to see how 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 I was going to see Look at this. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He was taken to the school of power. Amen. The man was full of the Holy Ghost. Please follow your Bible very well. He was full of the Holy Ghost. And verse 14 says what? Verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power. So he was full of the Holy Ghost. We have got so many people in church who are going to with no power. No power. No power. No power. But Jesus Christ returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. From today, may you return back home with power. Amen. May you return home back with power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May you
that home with power in Jesus' mighty name. Number one, we have got three levels of power. Number one, we have got devil casters. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. Kwa yu niambia mani, kama una masaji mapepo, kama mungongera mapepo, kama unashina mapepo, you cannot make it in life, you cannot make it in business minus power. You can't. Church, I challenge you today. I challenge you. We are giving stories as believers. We are got devil casters. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 says, and this signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. They shall cast out demons. Meanwhile, there's a level of casting out demons. Sir, it ought to reach a point. The seat that you sit on, the person that comes after, yes. how to think twice. How to think twice. Everything about you should carry the power of God. Yes. Should have the mark of the power of God. Devil casters. Hallelujah. And there was number two. Devil tormentors. To torment. Torment them. Bells and bells. If I be a man of God, let any witch go anywhere. All of you will die. I got to know Who are you? Are you God? I don't. God does not need to come as long as I'm here. Whosoever shall dare gather in that statue, all of you will die. And no witch. But it is found. We have got devil tormentors. Mark chapter 5, 2 to 9. Have you come to torment us before time? Have you come? We have got. And when he was come out of the sheep, immediately they are met him out of the tombs, a man with a clean spirit. Seven. And he cried with a loud voice, saying, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, thou son of the most high, I adjure thee, my God, that thou torment me not. Don't torment me. Kuna level, kuna fika. How do you care? You are tormenting people. Uno misa watu. Uno misa. They are devil casters. And they are both devil torment. They are both devil destroyers. Mark chapter 1, 23 26. Mark chapter 1, 23 26. They are both devil destroyers. Devil? That's right. Today, graduate. Well, what? And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, verse 24, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Have thou come to destroy us? Have you? Meanwhile, there are those who destroy demons. There are those who cast out demons. There are those who torment the demons. There are those who destroy demons. Have you come to the church? No, Kenalia Biblia goes through Sarah. This man continued to grow from level to level. Yes. From level to level. Casting out demons, tormenting demons, destroying demons. I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. The Holy One of God. Shall you have peace? And only today to tell God, God Almighty, change my level today. Change my level. Power. Go change it.